It was a beautiful day on the island of Sodor, and it was Lady Hat's birthday. She was having a special party. There were cakes and balloons and even a merry-go-round, but most exciting of all was the brass band. It was coming from the mainland to play at the party. Sir Topham Hat came to Tidmouth Seds, said Thomas. James and Gordon were upset. They wanted to collect the brass band themselves. Thomas puffed happily across the island and into Napford Station. The brass band climbed on board Thomas, and he raced away. But Thomas was so excited, he pulled away too soon. The tuba player was left behind. Thomas steamed off to Maitwave Station, and the brass band assembled on the platform. Suddenly, the band leader cried out. He wailed. No one knew where the tuba player was. Gasps Thomas. Thomas raced back to Napper Station, but the tuba player was not Napper Station. He was waiting for Bertie the bus. Bertie pulled up beside the tuba player. He asked. Said Bertie. Thomas arrived at Napper Station and couldn't see the tuba player anywhere. Moaned Thomas. Thomas raced from station to station. He puffed. Bertie had dropped the tuba player off. He called cheerfully. The tuba player waited for another ride. He didn't have to wait long. Elizabeth the Finn's truck pulled up. She boomed. He climbed into Elizabeth's wagon, and he practiced his tuba as, he, as they chuffed down the lane. Thomas puffed faster and faster. Wherever was the tuba player? Thomas flew right across the level crossing. He didn't see Elizabeth waiting there or the tuba player on her flatbed, and he didn't hear the tuba playing. Thomas moaned. Elizabeth took the tuba player all the way to the mill. She puffed. The tuba player thanked Elizabeth and climbed aboard Trevor. Trevor chugged slowly down the lane. Thomas kept on looking, but the island was very big and the tuba player was very small. Thomas was behind freight cars and called into coaches. He raced along the main line, tooting all the way, but it didn't help. Where was the tuba player? Thomas raced into the yard. Percy was coming the other way. Thomas bumped straight into Percy, and the bunting flew up into the air. Percy's freight cars came off the track, and so did Thomas. Moaned Percy. Groaned Thomas. Harvey arrived to put Thomas back on the track. He boomed. Moaned Thomas. Harvey said thoughtfully. So Thomas took his time, and he listened very carefully. Then he heard it, the sound of a tuba playing in the distance. Trevor was chugging happily down the lane. He was enjoying the tuba player's music. Thomas pulled up. He was pleased to see the tuba player. He puffed. With the tuba player safely on board, Thomas steamed off to make weight as fast as he could. Thomas arrived at the party just in time. The band played beautifully. Lady Hat was very happy. It was the best birthday party ever.